Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We return once again to the Valley of Titan. So, I just met these lovely, uh, what are they? Uh, raiders, I guess. And this ego death person over here just murdered a couple people, although the bodies seem to have disappeared since I've reloaded my save game. Now, I would like to do something about him, but unfortunately... He and the rest of the raiders are protected by this monk suicider. So technically they are under protection, and if I shoot them, well, the people of the mushroom cloud, whatever the hell they're called, wouldn't exactly like me. And I also need this sludge, but they don't want to give it to me. So, first thing I'm going to try is talking to them. Let's try talking to this guy. I don't think he'll talk to me. Oh, no, he will. Okay. Um, hi. It looks like you might want some goop from our barrel. Sometimes the monks ask people to collect it, and we charge them for it. 200 scrap. What do you say? Interested? Hard ass. Oh, I don't have hard ass anymore now that Angela's gone, do I? I don't. I have, what is it, smartass? Yeah, she's smartass, and Theodore is kissass. Well, damn. You know what? I bet the game developers knew exactly what they were doing. I bet they made it require hardass because they knew at this point in the game Angela would be gone. Ah. <sighs> damn it, in exile. You clever bastards. Alright, I mean, 200, 200 scrap. Whatever, that's that's nothing. I have like 4,000. Sure. We'll buy some goop. Oh, oh, great. Hey, boss, I made a sale. <laughs> great, now shut up about it. Wait, that's your boss? This unnamed guy? I thought it would be Ego Death. With such a dramatic name. All right. Um, oh, whoops. Shoving your hand into a roiling vat of glowing radioactive gloop is probably one of the worst ideas you've ever had. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's let's use this thing. Much better. Just need one more and we are good. You know, I just realized I can't even remember why we want that goop. Is it our offering? I think it is. It is, okay. Yeah, we need that as our offering to the Temple of Titan. Let's see if we can talk to this guy. I guess not. I hope you get blown up, you piece of shit. So there's a couple different ways we can go. Uh, that's where we came from. We can't go more that way, so just just two ways. Yeah, I could go down this way or continue down this way. Well, since we're here, let's keep going this way. So this is where the two people were trying to go that were shot by Ego Death. What the hell happened here? I hear animals. Whoa. A lot of text. The canyon narrows ahead, and you see a chain-link fence that stretches from wall to wall, blocking the way. In the center of the fence, the gate has been smashed open and lies twisted on the ground, while the barricades in front of it have all been burned and ransacked. The ground all around the outpost is pocked with steaming radioactive craters, and crows pick at the corpses of both servants of the mushroom cloud and black-clad soldiers. The place smells like burnt meat and singed hair, and the only sound is the tiny squawk of a radio broadcasting a sermon praising Titan. On the far side of the gate stands a single terrified man, a junk dealer with his cart, who stares, horrified, at the carnage. Are these the Diamondback Militia? Alright, she's got a dildo on her. Over, under. Interesting. Let's go see if that's better than what Yulia has on right now. Whoa! And you have a dildo, too. 
Does everybody have dildos? Okay, only, only two of them. Two out of three have dildos. The third guy has a toy bike. Which, for all I know, could be some sort of a... pleasure device of some sort, maybe? How would that work? Let's not think about it. Okay, got some new toys. I like toys. Even rubber toys. Use on... Oh, there's no use on self. Um, over under... Let's see. Oh, it's worth more money, so it's probably better. Much larger minimum damage. Moderately higher maximum damage. Crit chance the same. Crit multiplier is the same. Chance to... Yeah, same, same. Slightly lower range. Ooh, much, much lower capacity. Lower cone angle. Higher armor penetration. Less AP. And it can do a burst shot. Although, since it only holds two rounds, that means you'd have to reload. Hmm. How much AP does it cost to reload? I think it's quite a bit. It's usually your entire turn. And then I guess you're usually left with a couple AP afterwards. Uh, let's just use it for now and see what happens. We'll see how it works in practice. Oh god, what happened here? Who killed all the monks? I don't know, you're the only one I see here, so I'm assuming it's you. Uh, police, arrest this man! Gary Niger? Niger? <laughs> Look at his expression. <laughs> he looks terrified. He's wearing a nice suit, though. A stringy, sun-blasted older man with greasy salt-and-pepper hair. His right hand and forearm are articulated and made of metal. Are they? It's hard to tell. I, it, he looks fully human. But uh, I'll take your word for it. This is terrible. Who did this? Did you do this? Nuh-uh. Then, then who did? It's horrible. I was coming to get my escort to the temple as usual, and I I found this. They're all dead. It could have been the spies we've seen in the canyon. Uh, do I want to mention it yet? I don't know. Maybe. And I'm assuming by spies, they, we mean the Diamondback Militia? It would have to be. Do I want to mention them? I mean, I've already killed some of them because <laughs> they were setting up to do a, an assassination attempt. Setting up on that hill. So I feels like I've kind of already... Not necessarily picked a side, but certainly decided that the Diamondback Militia are in the wrong. I don't want to say picked a side because I don't think I really want to pick a side. I don't think I like either of them. Hmm, I won't mention it for now, though. Do you need help? Th there's nothing you can do. I was planning to trade all the way to Highpool, but if Titan's peace is broken, there's no way I'm making the trip. Guess I'll just turn around and go back to DeMonta. This is a sad day. Ooh, you came from DeMonta, did you? Good to know. What do you do for work? I don't suppose you're a dildo salesman, are you? I'm a junk trader. I come through here all the time, trading from DeMonta to the prison. If the canyon goes back to the way it was before the monks came... No, that can't happen. I'd be ruined. Hmm. So this guy actually likes the monks just because of the peace that they enforce. So they might be crazy, but they do get the job done. Or at least... They have been getting the job done until now, apparently. Peace is obviously not uh, being, being properly enforced at the moment. And tell us about your cybernetic hand. And Dr. Kyle at the Temple of Titan Hospital gave it to me. Really helps with the junk business. I can tear old machines apart barehanded now. 
I hope the doc's okay. I hope she ain't dead. What about Dr. Kyle? She's the most amazing surgeon ever. And she'll help anyone, as long as you got the cash. Just got ask at the clinic for Dr. Kyle's special, and she'll fix you up. If... if she's still alive, that is. Ooh, could we all get enhancements? I remember that was a thing. I remember it was a thing in Fallout uh, 3. I don't remember if it was a thing in Fallout 1 and 2. I think it was. In at least one of the first two games. I'm pretty sure that's kind of a legacy that the uh, Fallout franchise has had, is the ability to upgrade your character permanently with lots of money through surgery or something like that. I think. And the Wasteland series is not Fallout. It's not the Fallout series, but it's kind of closely tied to it. What do you have to trade? Hmm. You weren't kidding when you said you're a junk dealer. <laughs> yeah, what I really need is an apple core. Here, have a dildo. Actually, I should sell my junk. We're actually kind of getting weighed down. Alright, and let's keep the stuff that we don't want to sell. Uh, of course I'm going to keep the dildos. Why would I want to sell those? Jeez. Pet rock. I've already got a lipstick back at home. Toupee? Gotta keep that. Mmm, catnip. Just in case I meet any cats. Oh, and he just has enough money. Perfect. You know what? I changed my mind. I want my dildo back. Goodbye. If you find the animals that did this, give them a bullet for me. Better yet, don't make it clean. They don't deserve it. Okay. Can't guarantee I'm going to do that, but okay. What is up here? Looks like a good place to go swimming. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that it's most likely radioactive. Oh yeah, I've got to level up too. It's got me Ranger team. Congratulations. Do, do, do. Six points, nice. Hmm. Well, computer science obviously does not need the points, so assault rifle or lock picking. By the way, you're wearing... I have an extra tactical vest. Is anybody missing their armor? Oh shit, you could use a tactical vest. So could you. And you don't have any armor. Who should I give this to? Uh, let's give it to the person who does not have any armor. I think once we hit level 20, we should get a new attribute point, too. That'll be nice. Okay. I'm thinking lockpicking. I almost want to do toaster repair, but at this point, I would need to spend all my points on this exclusively to get it up to a point high enough where I can actually use it on the things I find. Yeah, let's go with lockpicking. Hello. Raider Commando. Ooh. Ooh. It's a statue. Skill points. A figure of a fellow foisting a flat, finned creature. It's foreign to your faculties, but it looks fucking fabulously flavorful. And other such alliterations. What the hell is he holding? Is that a fish? I think he's holding a fish. A flat, finned creature. Ah, must be a fish. It looks fucking fabulously flavorful. I don't know if that's a reference to something or what. Hello, please don't blow up. Werewolf 
Holly here with another shameless plug for my hometown, DeMonta. DeMonta's got everything you could want. Motel, bar, garage, diner, freshwater, scenic attractions, the best oldie station in Arizona, and the highest standard of living, too. Ever heard of air conditioning? Well, we got it. And you won't believe how good it feels. That's capital D, DeMonta. Stop on by. My ma always used to tell me to eat cat litter when I could, though she never did mention why. Alright, thank you for sharing that with me, Raider Commando. I guess she wanted you to have some... Uh, what is it called? Grit in your stomach? Just like, uh, chickens? Eat, like, little stones and stuff to churn the stuff in their stomach or something? I don't know. Well, hello, Rangers. I wonder if you might be interested in the restorative effects of my patented Miracle Glow Beauty Cream. We're sadly lacking in mirrors, so instead I'll just have to tell you of its age-defying, wrinkle-reducing, beautifying properties. It'll make you look 20 years younger, and give you a flattering... Chartreuse Aura. I don't know what that means. All that at the low, low cost of just 150 scrap, no free samples. Ooh. Kiss ass. Well, it's obvious that it works. How else could you keep such a gorgeous complexion in these harsh desert conditions? Person who's wearing a mask so I literally can't even see your skin? Oh, you flatterers. I'm afraid I still can't offer you any free samples. Oh, I'm one kiss ass short. <gasps> no. Fine. How many points does he have? Ah, not enough. I need two more. How much does this shit weigh, by the way? Oh. Zero pounds. Wait a minute. The empty container weighs two pounds, but as soon as you fill it up, therefore making it heavier, it weighs zero pounds. Well, that makes sense. I'm not going to complain about less weight, though. Okay. We are done with that. Do, do, do. We have collected three containers of goop. Alright, now we just need to find the actual canyon. Right? Or, uh, not, the ca not the canyon. I'm in the canyon. I mean, you need to find the, uh, the temple. What do these numbers mean? One and two. Are those the outpost numbers? Hmm. Hello? Hello? Oh, you used to eat cat litter too. Okay. What is down here? Whoa. Where's this go? Oh, it looks like it's a quick way to get over here to where we were going to head. Uh, if we went down the other way. Hello? <laughs> We're not interested in the watchtower or the Bagavid Gitta or whatever you're selling. The watchtower. Isn't that a Mormon thing? I think. I, I think I saw something about the watchtower on the various leaflets and pamphlets I've been given by the people that drive around and hand you pieces of paper. At least that's what I've briefly glimpsed before, promptly throwing it in the trash. Well, doesn't look like that's stealing, so, uh... Go pop that open. Cool. Look at those fatty rounds. 45s. Oh, okay. So there's multiple sources of goop. It's not like there's... Uh, it's not like you need three and there's only three sources. So you can get it in multiple ways. A trap. Well, that person is quite the flasher, isn't he?
Holy crap. Well, if it blows up, whatever. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. I just realized you have points. Let's do demolition. Much better. Oh, why does it do that? The fact that it keeps starting and stopping just increases my chance of a critical failure. Now it's locked. I don't have something that increases my chance to do the demolition, do I? <laughs> Necronomicon? Hold on, let me just quickly check my trinkets. Because I know I have one that increases my computer hacking skill. In fact, you're probably wearing it. Uh, no you're not. Computer science, mechanical repair, and the other one was, what, lockpicking and... And safe cracking. Okay, so yeah, nothing for demolitionary. Necronomicon. You try reading this book, but you just feel funny. Hmm. Well, that thing's obviously got an alarm on it. Yeah, I'm not even going to try opening that. Well, I could dig these up, but these are graves, so I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, let's not do that. Still hearing those animals. Alright, so now we're under the bridge where I was just about to walk across. Where does this go? Blood. Lots of little secret areas. Oh, it looks like this actually... Yeah, this actually links up over here, so I can go up this way. Alright. Hold on, did I explore over here fully? No, I didn't. How do I get over there? Looks like I get over there from up here. And I probably get up here by what? I don't even know. Maybe it loops around back here? I'm not sure. So let's just keep going up this way. Hey, some pants. I actually could really use those. Who got them? There we go. Looking a little bit more professional. Wait, there's literally nothing up here? Oh, wait, it keeps going. Wait, what the hell is this? I don't actually- I don't actually see anything on the ground, but I'm getting an examine here. Is it a rendering error, or is it just something that's supposed to be really difficult? I mean, it kind of looks like the ground is discolored here. But the eye is not actually appearing on this discoloration, it's appearing next to it. Hmm. Strange. Okay. What is this? Something seems to be buried here. Whoa. 
I'm really excited now. If it's that hard to spot, maybe it's something really, really good. Oh, whoa. I didn't even know that was possible. A lock and a trap. Oh yeah, I forgot to check out the sniper rifle that I got, but I think I just found a probably better one. Holy crap, that is fucking awesome. Alright, let's check him out. <laughs> Look at all these weapons. Oh, she's about to be over... over... burdened. I was gonna say over in burden, but that doesn't make any sense. Okay, just looking at the worth... Uh, oh, this is actually worth a lot more than the sniper I just found. 183, 156. Let's just check out the stats. So this is the one I found before. Has an awesome name. The SR2000 Argent. Uh, let's actually compare them. So... Uh, this one... This one that's worth less actually does a lot more damage. It does a lot more damage. Hit chance is the same. Crit chance is the same. Damage multiplier is the same. Chance to jam is... Higher. Uh, the range is higher, the capacity is lower, but it's still 8 rounds, which is enough for almost any fight. The armor penetration is less, the AP is the same. Oh wait, it uses different ammo. Whoa, it does use different ammo. Hold on, what does the sniper normally use? Point thirty. Okay, so this uses traditional ammo. And this uses... 7.62. What the hell is that? I don't have any. Is, is that just assault rifle ammo? 7.62? No. I guess this is it. I don't think I have much of that. Oh, no, I actually do. Yeah, I actually have quite a bit. That's actually good. If I can have two different sniper rifles with two different ammo types, then I can shoot a lot more freely with my snipers. Yeah, now I've got 40 rounds for this thing. But do I want to use it? This thing is worth less money, so it's that suggests it's not as good, but it seems better. The only thing bad about it is that it has less armor penetration. And... Um, lower capacity, but I don't think that's relevant, because it still holds a lot, and I can always upgrade it with the extended mag. I think it's just better. I'm pretty sure it's just better. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with the price. Which is kind of a shame, because I actually wanted to use this sniper rifle to spread out my ammo types. But then again, I can probably just give this one to uh, Vulture's Cry. So yeah, let's use this. Um, I'll toss this over to Vulture's Cry. I'll toss them both. Let's see which one's better. I was thinking the Bullpup sniper rifle would be better than the standard G43W that Vulture's Cry and Helen were both using before. But I've kind of changed my mind. I think the low range is actually pretty bad. I was thinking it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I think it is a pretty big deal. So I actually don't want to replace her weapon with the bullpup. Yeah, let's replace it with this. Although even this thing has a relatively low range. Compared to the G43, but that's fine. I can always upgrade that. So let's transfer the ammo on over. There we go. Two snipers with two different types of ammo, which is beautiful. Unfortunately, all of my modification parts are back at base. So... Don't have any small scopes or anything like that. Uh, but I can try to detach my scope. Yeah, let's try to remove this. Oh, there's a 100% chance. Nice. Also a 100% chance. 
Well, that wasn't hard. So let's go ahead and install that stuff. You know, this thing has a 15 round capacity. Um, it does lower the chance to jam though, so I guess I might as well install it. But the scope is the one I want the most. It's especially important for a sniper rifle. Okay, sweet. And you know what? I should actually do the same thing for her weapon. God, look at all these things. Oh no, I flagged it as junk. It's not junk. Thing's gonna have a beastly range now. Thirty-three meters. Actually, I think that's what the G forty-three was originally. No, it was thirty. It was up to thirty-three with the modification. But anyway, there we go. Good to go. Got some very nice snipers now. What the hell? I don't know if anyone saw that, but uh, Brother Shapiro was just walking in the air for a second there. Uh, climbing up the ladder in the air. Or climbing down. Whatever the hell he was doing. He was taking the stairway to heaven. Retreat! It's a little bit too close. There we go. Let's see what this thing can do. Whew. I also can't wait to test out this new shotgun, which we are going to get to do right about now. Okay. So reload is 4 AP, so 6, 7, 8... Yeah, so I can't shoot twice and reload in one turn. But next turn, I can reload and shoot once. But... I could also... Oh, but you know what I can do? I have so much ammo, I could just, uh... I could just burst this thing. Which takes 4 AP, and then spend the last 4 AP reloading. So I could do a uh, burst every turn. So I can actually shoot twice and reload every turn. Can I hit both? No. Almost. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes, I can. Right there. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. Armor is three, which makes this thing. What's the threshold? Three. Alright, yeah, that's, that's terrible. Don't even waste your ammo. Now, let's test this thing out. I want to know what these things actually are on the ground. These little boxes, because they look like toasters to me. I keep thinking they're toasters, but they're obviously not, because I can't repair them. Are they tissue boxes? What the hell's up here? Looks like there's a base of some sort. Birds! Hello? 
This place looks like it should be occupied. I don't like this thing. Hello? What is that flag? Looks like a noose. Almost looks like a like a little mining encampment. Oh, in fact, that looks like a door to a mine. And this looks like a mine cart. A rusty old mine cart. Wait, 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 wait. And this is not a normal trap. It says on closer examination you notice that there are steel rods about three inches in diameter. Extending from the bottom of the fridge into the ground. Must be hydraulics. Add to that, the wires from an alarm and an explosive booby trap, and it looks like someone really wants to keep you out of cold storage. And there's also a strangely normal looking keyhole just above the latch. Oh! This is the hideout of the Diamondback Militia. Tom's key. That's not for the Diamondback Militia. Hold on, I have a note for that. That Tom gave that to me. Um, wait, didn't he? Shit, what was that for? I, ha I have it written on here. It says, if you find Gadsden's Mark, use the DBM key. I'm not sure what Gadsden's Mark is, but this certainly seems like where I'm supposed to use the key. It looks like David Barnes give him the locket in DeMonta. I don't even remember what that was about. What is Tom's key? I don't even remember where that's supposed to be used. I don't have anything in my notes for it. Alright, where's the Diamond Diamondback Militia key? There it is. Please don't blow up. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, let's just hack it. I don't know if he gave us a password. I don't remember a password. Stop where you are. Identify yourselves. Shit, you assholes brought a mad monk with you? Oh. That's right. Uh. That's, that's awkward. Um. Hmm. <laughs> that might fuck me over. No one's gonna... N I mean, I didn't kill the monk... But I think that means now people can kill us without repercussion. But if I defend myself, if we defend ourselves, then I... Th and, and they have a monk, which all these raiders do. I think there will be repercussions for us, but not for them. Shit. Watching you from her post is a hard-faced female lieutenant with a high and tight buzz cut. And mouth that looks like a scar. She gives you a withering once-over. Ooh, perception bonus. Looking closely, you can see that, unlike the other black-clad soldiers you've seen, this officer is wearing an insignia on her shoulder. It shows a rattlesnake rearing in front of a red diamond shape. Hmm. Not sure how that helps me, or if it helps me at all. Rattlesnake, so that'd be the Diamondback 
militia. I mean, this is obviously the Diamondback militia. Your names, now. Uh, we're rangers. Rangers. Wait a minute. You're the guys who've been shooting up the place like it was Las Vegas on a Saturday night. Would have been fine if you just stuck to killing monks, but you had to go and kill some of our boys, too. I'm afraid there's going to have to be some payback for that. Now, we got orders to take you alive, so are you going to surrender those guns quietly? Or do we have to do this the hard way? Oh. Uh. Yeah, about that. Um. Who is we? We're the guys who are going to kill you if you don't surrender quietly. What's it going to be? Yes or no? I wonder if there's a keyword I could do here because of this perception bonus or something. I don't know. I mean, I can't think of anything to say. I did shoot their people. So... You want us to give up, uh, give up our guns? Of course, we ain't letting you psychopaths in here all armed and dangerous. They'll be waiting for you when you get back. But you're not getting through this gate packing heat. Got me? Can't take chances. Alright, fine. Wait, hold on. What do you have? <laughs> what? That's all he had on him was a, a box of Strike Anywhere matches? Okay. Hold on, what's the description for that? Just don't get these wet. Alright. Oh. Looks like this is a little guarding room before you enter the Diamondback Militia Headquarters proper. Well, even without guns, I'm pretty confident that we can talk our way out of this. Between our smartass and our, uh, kiss-ass and our smartass, I think we have enough ass to go around to get us out of this mess. But I think I will end this episode here before I go see exactly what's going on with the Diamondback Militia. This should be interesting because I don't like the servants of the Mushroom Cloud or whatever the hell they are, and I also don't really like the Diamondback Militia. So I don't know how I'm going to handle this. This is definitely a mess. But anyway, I'll save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.